Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your Capital Markets Report. Today is July 30th, 2008. According to Bloomberg News, Merrill Lynch has sold $8.55 billion worth of stock and will liquidate $30.6 billion of bonds at, their fifth of, at a fifth of their face value to strengthen its credit ratings. The company sold 380 million shares for $22.50 each. Temasek Holdings, the Singapore-owned fund that became Merrill's biggest investor by acquiring shares in December, agreed to buy $3.4 billion of the new stock. The New York-based company is paying Temasek $2.5 billion to offset losses on its earlier investment. Staying with capital markets news, Reuters is reporting that British Airways and Spain's Iberia are in discussions about merging the two major carriers. The UK carrier said talks were about a potential all-share merge. They said in a statement that the discussions had the support of both companies, though it expected it would take several months before the terms could be agreed upon. Caja Madrid, which owns 23% stake in Iberia, is supportive of the tie-up. And the two are also in talks with U.S. carrier American Airlines about a transatlantic agreement. And in more capital markets news, according to Reuters, XL Capital said its sale of ordinary shares and convertible securities was priced to raise about $2.5 billion. XL Capital is a Bermuda-based insurer that is a stakeholder in troubled bond insurer Security Capital Assurance. The money will be used to fund an agreement that XL reached to sell its 46% stake in Security Capital Assurance. This includes liabilities stemming from XL's 2006 spinoff of SCA through an initial public offering. Excel said in a statement that it will sell 125 million ordinary shares at $16 each. The underwriters have the option of purchasing an additional 18.75 million shares. And in other capital markets news, Bloomberg News is reporting that the National Australia Bank has significantly reduced a planned 80, 850 million Australian dollar bond sale. This is after credit market losses triggered a 19% slump in the stock. National Australia Bank is the nation's biggest by assets. After some investors canceled the orders, the Melbourne-based bank cut the planned sale of June 2011 bonds by almost 70 percent to 260 million Australian dollars. The National Australia Bank disclosed 830 million Australia dollar provision to cover declines in U.S. mortgage securities on July 25th, three days after confirming investor allocations for the notes. Higher provisions for Australian banks' delinquent loans may deter overseas buyers from purchasing debt and force the financial institutions to pay more for funding. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our Capital Markets channel online and read the full stories and the latest developments.